Um, so I'll be the first to admit that I'm not an expert on this subject, but today I want to start a conversation and get people thinking about what's the best way to um, communicate to those who use what we make. So not only making good code, but helping people use that code. Um, in prepping for this talk, I found many books and lectures on writing clean code. And here I found a distinction between uh, code a computer can read and code a computer and a person can read. Uh, but here I propose a new distinction, that we should write one type of code for our peers and another type of code for beginners. Um, that this beginner regime can, works whenever clarity and communication outweighs performance and features. Uh, in fact, in this regime, performance and features will hinder effective clarity and communication. So that brings us to my first rule, to simplify. Um, write the simplest code to achieve your aims. Simple doesn't mean, and, and to simplest doesn't mean shortest or most elegant or most efficient. Um, and this also doesn't mean just write prototype code. Uh, it, like compare your code to a path from A to B across a mountain range. Uh, your prototype code will take lots of twists and turns and will often go off into some dead ends. But when you really know the terrain, you can fill in the swamps and level the mountains and just take a straight, take a straight line. Um, and that looks really easy once you see it, but it takes a lot of work to get there. Um, so get your code to work and then write it again and then write it again and then write it another time. And during this process, don't add features and don't try and make it go faster because you're not building a rocket ship. Um, just try and make your code speak just as if you were explaining it out loud um, or just writing it as pseudocode. Um, and not only writing code, um, you'll have to also write explanations to go along with it. And in those explanations, explain like you're talking to grandma, um, at least if your grandma isn't someone like Admiral Hopper. Um, so if you're, like some people might know the difference between a CPU and a GPU, but others might not. And in my experience, uh, ha having to look up one technical term is kind of like giving a mouse a cookie. Um, I'm gonna want a cup of milk to go along with it. And so I might fill up all my browser tabs and learn a lot of really interesting things, but I rarely ever get back to what I was originally doing. Um, so if you have to use a term, first ask, like, do I actually have to use this? And if you do, um, define it. And there my computer goes to sleep. It's not a conference without technical issues. Oh, there we go. Um, so um, no, no one thinks less of you if you have to define a term. Um, I usually like, uh, even if I assume a particular audience, say physics students, I like to rephrase everything in terms of normal everyday concepts as well. Um, so always err on the side of explaining everything. Um, and now for these, you also have to decide your format that you're doing it in and um, separate your tutorials and your documentation uh, that this does not equal this. They serve distinctly different purposes. Users visit tutorials to just get up and going quickly and find exactly what they need. Um, need to just get stuff done. The priority here is efficiency. Um, developers use documentation to keep the code consistent and users visit documentation to um, solve finicky issues. The priority here is to be comprehensive. 
I think most of us have experience of either having to learn something new from 100 pages of technical jargon or uh, having to do original research after a 10 minute walkthrough. Don't want to name names, but uh, console you ruined for months of my life. <laughs> um, also separating out uh, concepts and details. Um, so there on the left, I have kind of a plot of time scaling for MKL and open bloss. That's an example of a concept you want to get across in um, computer science. And then on the right is an idea of a details of how do I open an HDF file? Um, when I'm teaching someone a uh, concept of, say, like machine learning, I don't want them worrying about where do I put my commas and colons. Um, but if I'm teaching someone about how to modify a plot, I don't want them pondering the mysteries of quantum spin. Um, you want them focused on one thing at a time and not having to deal with both at once. Um, also, doing a three times grammar and spelling check. Um, so whenever a mistake exists, uh, people have to do a little bit more work to figure out what's going on. Uh, and I'd rather have them spend their time pondering symmetry breaking than did I really mean to put a comma there? Um, so check with the computer. I actually recommend Grammarly. Um, reading out loud, if you don't like reading to an empty room. Um, I, I've taught uh, Felicity Smoke a lot of quantum mechanics over the years, uh, or you can use your own favorite bobblehead superhero, um, or you can give it to another person, and this person doesn't even have to have any technical expertise at all. And my last point is let the design do the work. So it's not just content, but how you display the content. Uh, so that people are busy and they don't have time to read over everything you give them. They need to be able to glance at the page and figure out where to look. Uh, so when they look at it, they need to know where things are based on uh, here we go. how large it is, um, how it's colored, and where it's placed. Um, and then you need to keep them around and relaxed. And you can do that based on color scheme. And here's are some bad examples. Um, font, um, density, and busyness. And I don't have too much time left, but here is an example of how I managed to improve FFTW. Um, I'm glad my back's to it because it always makes me freak out. Um, so just removing the underline, changing the font and highlighting the chapter heads, and changing the color palette. And even though you don't change the content, it goes from something that is just kind of brings up a feeling of panic to something you can actually read. Um, so the rules are simplify, explain like you're talking to grandma, separate tutorials and documentation, concepts versus details, and check spelling and grammar, and design, let the design do the reader's work for them. And that's it.